everybody, Caboose that exe here, and today we're we're back with another one of these Killing Floor 2 seasonal objective item videos. This is for the Interstellar Insanity event. The item that you're going to be going for here is the Astronaut Companion Backpack. It's a precious status too. It's nice and gold. Honestly, I'm getting kind of sick and tired of these backpacks, not going to lie, but if you want to do it, it's not a hard one to get. Honestly, you can get four out of five of these done in one go. I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks on how to get these as well as giving you kind of a small guide as to how to get one of them. Of course, we have two challenges that we always get. We got the weekly lunar, which is to complete the weekly on moon base, which is the new map. It's a lot of fun. It's a great map and we have two new weeklies to go alongside it. We, the one that I did this one in is one of the new ones called Scavenger. It's a lot of fun. I got quite a bit of use of the survivalist perk in the beginning and then eventually I got a nice nice set of weapons and I just kind of stuck to one perk. It's fun. I haven't tried the other one which I think is arachnophobia but uh, I'm, I'm excited to give them a try. Let me know what you think of this new weekly if you get the chance to play it. And of course, the other easy objective to get is the Infinite Void, which is the complete wave 15 on Endless Hard or higher on Moon Base. You don't have to be there for the entire time, you just gotta be there when wave 15 is completed. However, if you start from the beginning, you're more than likely able to get the other three objectives done. The first special objective is Kicks, which is to stomp on 50 Zeds. Now, in case you didn't know this, I discovered this about three or four years ago. It's that you can stomp on Zeds. Basically, you just kind of bounce off their heads. Kind of like in Super Smash Bros. It's not something that often happens, which is why you probably didn't know if you didn't before. But because Moon Base has low gravity, this is something that you can very easily do. On early waves, just kind of let all the Zeds get close together and you just jump in the air and just bounce off their heads. Or even in the later waves, you can do it too. They can't jump, but you can. So... You'll just knock them over every time you jump on them. See how many you can get in a row. I think my record is four. I did it during a clot wave, so it was a little easier. Then skipping over the trap base one, I'll show that one last here because it's a little bit of a longer explanation. We have uh, weightlessness skills, which is to kill 300 Zeds while jumping in the air on moon base. Unlike before where it takes precision to land on the Zed, now you just gotta kill them. And honestly, it shouldn't be that hard if you're using demolition. I say this mainly because when you're in the air, you can't aim down sights, which reasonably makes it harder to aim. So you shouldn't be using precision weapons. So it's best to use something that you can kind of like just aim in the general direction of Zeds and kill several of them at once. You can even just toss a grenade on the ground, jump, and that will count if it blows up while you're in the air. And I say that demolition is probably your best choice because I didn't actually do that. I was so infatuated with using the new HRG SWAT weapon called the Bastion based off of the stoner that I completely forgot demolition is a perk that would make more sense for this. But I, I got it in the end. Probably took a lot longer than it needed to, but I, I did it. And finally, let's cover the trap-based objective, Shocking Moonlight. In order to get this objective completed, you need to kill 20 Zeds with the laser trap on Moon Base. I'd show you where the trap is located, but there's actually several of them. What you need to keep an eye out for is a door with a computer on either side of it. Interacting with this computer will activate the laser trap. However, it doesn't really look like a laser to me. It looks more like a lightning or a shocking trap. Regardless, these are in fact the traps you're looking for. And sadly, they don't do a lot of damage, which makes getting this challenge done a little bit tricky. What you want to look out for are weak Zeds, ones that you've shot a little bit, or crawlers. Crawlers are going to be basically your golden ticket to getting this thing done. They're very weak and they will most likely die walking through it. If not, put a bullet or two in its legs, chop off two legs, let it through, it'll die. All right, that's basically how I got it, was mostly using crawlers. And with that, you'll have your astronaut companion. However, I think it's more of a Sputnik. So maybe it's more like a cosmonaut companion. Cosmonaut comrade. That's that. That's the one. Make that an item. That's, the pro that's probably going to be the next item. A backpack that's a... God, whatever. Anyway, I shouldn't give them that ridiculous ideas. I honestly think we have a little too many backpacks. 
and they're nowhere near as interesting as like weapon skins in my opinion but regardless let me know what you guys think of the item in the comments below let me know what you think of this video please i I'd like to know what you folks are thinking let me know what you think of this update in general do you think the map is good what are your thoughts on the weapon do you like the item do you hate the item do you think the objectives are fun let me know i'd love to hear them if there's any video you're requesting for me to do like a specific weapon you want me to cover i'm currently working on some more weapon reviews so those will be coming hopefully soon work had me away from my apartment for a seven, for basically the past two months like if not every week, every other week, I was out of town, which is why these videos kind of fell by the wayside. Really annoyed at that. I felt like I was gonna be on a roll at the time and then work was just like, nope, you're going to Tampa, whether you like it or not. But those are stories for another time. If you wanna see more Killing Floor videos, and I'm gonna be probably doing some payday videos and see those videos when they come out, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for when those videos come out. I'm gonna to try to stay on top of it this time. I say that every time, I'm gonna, they're gonna come out when they come out. I apologize. I'm really sorry about this, folks. Before you go, I want y'all to remember something very important, all right? Y'all mean a lot to me, but most importantly, I love you! Bye-bye.